And Washington's lieutenant governor, Cyrus Habib, is an Iranian-American. He, too, is speaking out about these reports at the border. Today, he sat down with King 5's Kelly Greenberg, who is here with us now. What did he have to say? And Lieutenant Governor Cyrus Habib is the first and only Iranian-American to hold a statewide elected office in the entire United States. Now, he acknowledges the need for increased security at the border following the rising tensions with Iran, but he says what happened this weekend was not only wrong, but might be unconstitutional. This is racial profiling. Um, there's no question this is racial profiling. Uh, when U.S. citizens are treated differently based on their ethnic or national uh, origin, I don't know what else you would call it. Lieutenant Governor Cyrus Habib calls the reports of Iranian Americans being held at the Washington-Canada border personal. I have a, a name that is uh, Iranian. It's a Persian name. Um, I, I look uh, Middle Eastern. Um, and I'm Iranian American. Um, and so uh, this happened to people whose identities um, and uh, biographies are, are very similar to mine. Um, and so I know firsthand how it can make people feel like second class Americans. Some of those Americans detained a mother and her two children, the uh, lieutenant governor she, knows personally. She went out and was crying, so in a place where her kids couldn't see, just because it was so um, dehumanizing to have her own government treating her like a foreigner. And that's what bothers him most. The people held for questioning are American citizens. We never want to be a country. Uh, we cannot be a country constitutionally or morally where citizens are treated differently, uh, whether because of because they're African American, Jewish, Iranian American, you name it. So moving forward, I asked the lieutenant, how should border security be handled? Well, we absolutely should increase security, but if we're going to increase security, then we need to do it in a way that is fair and fits with our values. So if that means that everyone coming back from the border needs to be asked a few extra questions, then it should happen to everyone.